Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we're back with another Black Series action figure review. We're looking at Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight from the 40th anniversary, Return of the Jedi. So the subline of Black Series is from the third wave. Um, and of course they've gone, interestingly, it's the Jedi Knight Luke from the end of the film. Um, during his duel with Vader and subsequently the Emperor. Um, but they're still using the classic Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight card back, which is actually a really cool little detail. Um, rather than change it up and go with something a little bit more modern, because um, that one is, you know, more technically he's got the extra robes and stuff uh, like the like this one here. This is the Mandalorian version. I will do a bit of a comparison afterwards. Um, so yeah, this is the third Luke we've had in a reasonably short period of time, given the Mandalorian and the Book of Boba Fett versions of Luke. Uh, we have Rebel Commando, Luke Skywalker. Darth Vader, which I have reviewed, R2-D2, and the Emperor's Royal Guard, which is one I'm going to pass on, because I've already got a couple that have been previously released, and uh, that's that's pretty good, and that's good enough for me in my display. I'm happy to have a couple to flank the Emperor. Um, but yeah, this one's looking pretty nice. Looks nice on the card. It'd be nice to get an updated version of, of this look with the sort of swap-out chest plate. Um, I do have the original one still, uh, again, he's sort of still buried within tubs of storage at the moment. Um, so yeah, won't be able to compare that one to the original. But if you've been around the Black Series scene long enough, you'll know exactly what he is and how he looks. Um, yeah, he's definitely had quite a few upgrades in the years since. But uh, yeah, this one looks to be... A nice one using some of the bit existing parts from the latest Luke Skywalkers that have been out. Like I just stated from Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. So um yeah, I'm just gonna try and get this out nice and quickly. So we do have his lightsaber hilt here. There we go, just need a little bit more light behind it. It's no different to any of the more recent releases. That just sort of slots in. There's no sort of stud in there, so it's, it's a nice snug fit. It's a nice, not not too sturdy, not too rubbery. Just a nice medium for the for the lightsaber hilt. Of course, nice green blade there. Look out, and just sort of stashed in behind him is the uh, secondary sort of pre-ripped shirt piece, which is exactly what they did with the first figure. Retooled, you know, redesigned. He looks good. Now he is sporting a rubber band here. Obviously just to hold that on in packaging. I dare say it will hold on nicely outside of packaging, but if that was to sort of fall out of the packaging, it wouldn't look very good on the shelf. So. I kind of see where they did that. So here we've got a pretty damn good looking Luke. Um, pretty much using the same head sculpt as the previous two. There's subtle sort of differences in paint. Um, maybe the Mandalorian one has a very slightly different head sculpt, but I'm not sure. I don't know why they would, you know, do a single head sculpt. They're sort of just slight variations in paint. This one could very well be the best one at the moment in terms of just putting these three together, which I'll do shortly. But given we've just had, you know, Return of the Jedi Vader as well with the mask that's removable, this is a really, really well-timed release. Uh, I believe all will be available in the regular line at some point. But he's looking pretty good. Yeah, like I said, these are using pretty much the same parts from the uh, Mandalorian version. Slightly different upper upper torso, but I think the rest of it's pretty much the same. But uh, yeah, you can obviously swap out. You know, sort of pre, pre-jewel and then sort of mid-post-jewel. I think I like the white. I think I like the white sort of... That sort of flipped open shirt. I think that looks good. It's just, I don't know, something contrasts against the, the full suit of black. He does have his his belt here as well. Which 
which is good. Articulation wise, he does have a ball joint in the top of the head or top of the neck under the head. A neck joint at the collar, which moves quite well. Does have the butterfly joints. So he definitely poses this one up beautifully. It's going to make some great poses and shots. So that looks good. He's got a lower torso joint, which is a nice, nice one there. I'm glad they sort of seem to be doing away with the sort of mid cut torso joints. That's good. Does have ball hinge in the hips. Does have the swivel thighs, which are another thing that seems to be being eliminated. But uh, yeah, fortunately, this one still gets it, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I don't mind the uh, the omission of that sort of uh, piece of articulation. I don't know that it greatly benefits the uh, posability of the figures, depending on how you're doing it, because I guess if you're doing that, I don't know, because when you've got the knee that moves as well, yeah, probably not. I don't know. Still sort of going through that sort of phase, but... um. Yeah, he's got a good knee joint skip, nice angle there, ankle joints and a rocker in the so side, so you get that sort of pivot on the feet. We'll hold the lightsaber, lightsaber nicely, and there is a hook on his belt to click that onto, which is nice as well. So yeah, a very nice, very nice version of Luke here. Just pop the camera back up again. It just sort of slipped down. There we go. So here's the new one. We'll stand him up next to Mandalorian version. So yeah, this is sharing the same legs, the same arms, probably the same torso, just slightly retooled for that chest plate. Yeah, the head, the hair is definitely slightly different on the Mandalorian one. I think the hair on this Return of the Jedi Luke in the on the in the middle here, which is what I'm going to do now. I don't know, actually, they're still, they're all slightly different paints. This is a very sort of flat brown sort of mold the hair there's no sort of additional weathering this one's got a sort of a darker wash through it and this one's almost got a like a lighter wash through it but otherwise they're very very similar and this one appears to have a slightly sort of brush forward fringe this one's sort of swept a bit, bit more across and this one is sort of in between them so yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time sort of telling exactly, you know, to the naked eye, probably if I get up nice and close and look at the finer details, I'll be able to uh, see a little bit clearer. But yeah, we've essentially got, you know, three eras of Luke. There was, of course, the uh, sort of Jabba's Palace start of Return of the Jedi Luke as well. It came out a couple of years ago. So yeah, he's... He was using some parts from the older one, but these three definitely all sort of new versions of Luke, sort of post Return of the Jedi, which is just fantastic. These are great. Um, you know, I do love Luke Skywalker in this outfit or these outfits in the black. And yeah, this is the Book of Boba one here on the right from. He's got little, well, he hasn't got Grogu in there at the minute, but that's where Grogu would normally be sitting in that backpack. But yeah, really nice use of the mold. Obviously, you want to get a few looks out of it. Which is good. I'm personally digging the, the newest one the most. In terms of, you know, I, I don't know. But if, I like them all. <laughs> all right. I like them all. This one, you know, has his black robe over the top, which I took off just to sort of compare looks but um you know that's sort of his moment to shine in end of mandalorian season two it's not sitting on prop very nicely but that's okay
and then yeah like i stated the other return of the jedi luke that came out had a sort of more of a brown robe it probably didn't sit as well as this one does but that's all good so we'll move them two out the way get a good close-up look at the head sculpt there I think that's a pretty good likeness. You know, it's always difficult to, to really nail Mark Hamill's face um, because he does change quite a lot between the films. If you just look at photos of Mark from, you know, episode four, five, and six, they all look very, very different. Obviously, hairstyle is a determining factor there. But yeah, I'm digging this one. I think he looks pretty, pretty damn, pretty damn good. I just want to really test out these butterfly joints. To get him posed up with a set up a really nice dual scene with Vader. I reckon that'll look absolutely awesome. Do we have that Vader here? Sun's helmet. As a size comparison, there you go. Pretty good, in my opinion. Really nice look, really nice addition to the Black Series collection. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Sound out down in the comments below. And I'll be back with some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.